Well, welcome back to the channel, and uh, it's Saturday. I made it back from San Francisco, and uh, yep, I'm uh, glad to be back. I don't really care a whole lot for uh, some of the West Coast things and big city things. But anyway, Mrs. Ohio MM's out doing a project with the power washer. So while I had the power washer out, I power washed the tray that the fuel tank fits in because we're gonna take that to Oliver Phil's later. Put a coat of paint on it because we're painting the truck bed for him. And then I power washed the front that holds the radiator and the hydraulic tank just to try to get the worst of the crap off of those. Uh, before I left on my trip, I got my gasket from Welters for the control box back here. And so I went ahead and uh, the new seals are in there and I put the new gasket in and torqued everything down. So that is done. So I was glad to get that done before I left. It gave me a little peace of mind that I've at least made progress to there. I was supposed to get home yesterday at 4 p.m. And then I was going to stop and get the radiator. Uh, but as things may have it, the flight got delayed. And so I was going to get back after the radiator shop closed. So therefore, there is no radiator. And that's why I was power washing those parts. So it'll be Monday or Tuesday now because they're not open today before I can go get those. I just pulled the alternator off. You see it's missing. I'm gonna take that to Oliver Phil's so he can work on rebuilding it. Uh, and it's more likely it's gonna happen when, uh, when it's sitting over there than it's sitting on the tractor. And I don't know, I'm half tempted to pull off the fuel pump and take it over to him too, but I'm, he's done them before and I have it and I don't want to screw anything up. So not sure I'm going to do that. But anyway, I'm just uh, picking away. I've got my buddy Jim coming over. We're going to try to get that clamp uh, down. I think I need two people to do that. And then we can do the one on the other side and we can get that done. And I did put some heat on the uh, emergency brake cable both there and inside the cab and uh, it smells like I started a campfire in here but guess what did not work that cable was froze up pretty good and I'm gonna guess it's because where it comes out of the cab you can see the rust on the outside so I can only imagine what the inside looks like because that plastic coating is chipped away over the years and the same down on this end plastic coating no plastic coating so i'm going to guess it's just rusted solid in there so at some point i'm going to need to pull that thing off of there and put a new one on and uh other than that really this weekend i got a I, part of uh oliver phil helping me with hydraulic lines getting them done quickly is i need to go help him get this new he's doing a new service truck and I uh, had to built a bed and we got to get a coat of paint on it so that's gonna happen here in a little bit so in the meantime I'm just gonna keep picking away it just there I go saying pick away I'm gonna keep trying to find little things that need done on this and get them done so that uh, when I get the radiator and the hydraulic cooler back I can put those on sooner than later and things you know just making a little bit of progress at a time i'd really like to you know tomorrow's easter i don't know that i'm going to get a whole lot done tomorrow so we'll just uh just keep doing some little things on this till phil calls and says we're ready to paint all right my buddy jim was just over he just left but we got uh got that clamp on there we actually had to use a little bit of longer bolt to get it started so you can see the other side and we put a nut on this one uh, and then got the line routed and uh, hooked up so we got that one in it wasn't easy but we got it and then I'm gonna pause this while I walk around the other side then we did the same thing over here got this one on actually we did this one first and then did the other one because I figured that might be easier um, 
And we actually had to use a bottle jack to help kind of push up on this one and get the bolt hole lined up. I'm kind of worried I have this all undone right now where everything runs through there. Uh, this is kind of a center point, pivot point. And I still got to run fuel line, new fuel line and some other things. So anyway, I think putting this back together or getting that all clamped back down is going to be not fun, but something that uh, we'll get to when it's time. And um, yeah, this is where the wire harness for the back used to come through and was obviously cut a long time ago. Uh, there's enough new wires run now that we don't need that. And I need to remove, make sure I don't whack my head. All the wires back here, this harness, I'm gonna take all, all this stuff out because that's no longer used. If I need uh, more wires, I will just run new ones because this is in pretty bad shape. All right, I'm gonna see what's next now. Made it over to Oliver Phil's. Like I said, I'm gonna paint the, we're gonna paint the tray for the uh, gas tank but here's the new bed for his uh service truck it's actually a semi single axle rear axle semi that he did but he's got a little compartment made for his spud bars underneath uh this is one of the toolboxes that will go on it and uh he's got kind of a workbench built into the back of it here he's got a place for all of his lights down below and uh yeah, he's put a lot of a lot of thought into how he wants this to be, and I think it's going to turn out pretty good. But we're going to get a coat of paint on it so that it doesn't rust. We need to hose it down with some acetone, wipe it down, just get rid of any oils on it, and uh, then we got to build a paint booth in here, which we can use the gantry, and uh, and I brought some two by fours to help stake things up around here so that we can uh, we can get it uh you know so he doesn't get stuff on all of his important stuff there's the rear cylinder off of the uh the a4t that he's getting ready to rebuild so uh we're gonna get at this and i'll show it to you hopefully here in a little bit well we've got the uh the paint booth made we've got air intake up there we've got a fan going blowing outside here we've got it pretty well tented in so i think that uh Overall, his shop should be safe. Now we just need to start mixing paint and get busy uh, blowing this paint on. This is a direct to metal paint that we're using from uh, Sherwin Williams and uh, should work pretty well. We've used it before and uh, we'll see how this goes. All right, it's much later than it was when I last recorded uh, that we're getting ready to start this. We had some problems with the gun. Did get that piece painted and uh, it's kind of hard to see probably from the light but at least got a full one coat on everything I think it looks pretty good uh, gonna get, need to get another gallon to finish it off but for the most part I think uh, it's not the best paint job Ever, but it will uh, suffice and the main thing is is to get a coat on here so this thing doesn't rust so we uh, made some progress at least the gun really fought us it it just was plugging up and we ended up getting it figured out but it took a while so I think that's gonna be it for tonight this is well past my bedtime and uh, tomorrow's Easter so uh, We'll continue tomorrow. Easter Sunday, and uh, just came over to neighbor John's. I'm gonna get out the 950th little start and maybe go for a little tractor drive because it's decent weather. And rather than work all the time, maybe I should get one of these things out and work it a little, or just play with it, I should say. Uh oh, I think I know why. It's going to be the safety switch down here. I'm having trouble with that. 
Uh, hang on a minute. I need all my hands in order to do this. spot shut off the vapor oh yeah gotta set the brake it's uh even leaving it in gear I forgot with the three speed in direct it's gonna float a little uh, yeah not my favorite tractor to get off and on, for sure the 955 is, but I really like this tractor. Need to check the air on my tires. I'm gonna wash it real quick. Just a quick hose down of all the dust on it. And uh, check my hydraulic fluid behind the bubble nose. And actually we can do that right now. I think I can do this all one-handed. See, so straps hold that on, and I'll wiggle this a little. And the bubble nose just 
slides right off. We'll set it over here because I don't want to break it. And fluid is basically at the full mark. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll close that back up and uh, like I said, check air and tires and uh, get this thing ready to get hosed off and then we'll go down the road. Out on the road, this is Ohio MM uh, up on the fender. Made it back home. Nice, uh, nice day for a drive. And uh, she's running good. Pretty happy with how all that went. Runs nice and smooth. You can look at the rain cap and see how just uh, just purrs pretty nice. I'm probably going to end up painting the hood and uh, the shields around the tank here at some point coming up. And I'll do the wheels, get those back looking uh, looking better. My leaks that I got going that I was talking about, you can see it's wet. So it's wet coming where it comes into the, uh, there's a T there, goes into the cylinder. And then I'm dripping from huh, the, uh, 
the remotes. So I'm going to have to replace those at some point. And uh, I've got to move that filter is actually supposed to be on the other side of the axle. And they've got that weird line that goes in there is precariously close to the wheel. So I want to get rid of that and redo redo that portion uh, coming up. Looks like my cylinder might be leaking just a little. So I still have some work to do on this one, but uh, overall it's not bad. And I do have a leak. This line is leaking someplace right around here. That was leaking. I put a new O-ring in there. That's holding, but definitely got a leak there. And uh, so, little by little, I'm gonna get this thing back to where I want it to be. But you know, I, everything I got the front end narrowed up and did my work on this that I wanted to do. And now I do have a bottom radiator hose for it, and you can see that hose. And, it is soft, like I'm afraid to even poke it too hard. My finger might go through it. But I have to pull off that water manifold and put a uh, new hose on there. And uh, so much like the A4T, this line could probably, some of these lines could take uh, replacing. So, yeah, they're getting worn. But anyway. That's just a walk around of the 950. I, you know, certain days you're just like, I work on these things all the time. It's time to go out and just drive around. And I hadn't driven this one since I worked on it. So it's nice to drive it. See that I still have some leaks to fix, but it actually drove pretty good. The steering's just a little bit off. I'm gonna have to look into that just a little, you know, a little bit, figure out what how to fix that. But overall, you know, it's it's good to go. So I'm probably just going to end this video here because I'm just going to run this back next door and uh, put it away. And um, I will be back. I'm picking up the radiator and the oil cooler for the A4T this week. So next weekend or late this some evenings this week, hopefully we're uh, making some progress on that. And uh, I got to go help Oliver Phil finish with painting that bed. Uh, I think tomorrow night, and then I have another friend, Derek, who we just stopped by, who I mentioned his son, and uh, I'm helping him on a John Deere 2020. Um, I'm gonna do that one of the nights this week. But then we'll get back on the A4T, because I'm getting more and more excited about getting that thing. It would have been nice to take the tractor drive today in the A4T, but uh, it's coming. All right, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Probably not super exciting, but all the fun was had by me driving this this beauty and uh you know comment if you want and we'll see you at the uh the new video or the next video happy easter